What's good YouTube? It's RPU here and I'm back again with another video. And guys, when it comes to student loans, we're coming down to the wire. We are three months away from the midterm elections. Less than three months. And Joe Biden has been delaying and delaying, pushing back and pushing back his decision on student loan forgiveness. Um, I believe around the time of April, May, he was supposed to make a decision, right? And then the situation in Buffalo happened, you know, the mass incident at the top supermarket. And so the narrative was shifted away from student loan forgiveness to firearm control. And... Joe Biden had pushed his decision back to July, August, right? Well, we're in August now. And so if Joe Biden and the Democrats are going to make a decision, they need to make it now because student loan forgiveness, new blockbuster plan to cancel student loans, and it ain't what you think, man. Let's jump into this article from Forbes. Republicans have proposed a blockbuster new plan for student loan forgiveness. Here's what you need to know and what it means for your student loans. President Joe Biden is days away from announcing his decision on broad student loan forgiveness. Before that happens, however, Republicans in Congress have introduced major legislation to change the future of student loans and student loan forgiveness. As first reported by Business Insider, Representatives Virginia Fox, Elise Stefanik, and Jim Banks, all Republicans, introduced the Responsible Education Assistance Through Loan Real Reforms Act to offer an alternative proposal to Biden's student loan forgiveness. Basically, you ain't getting that. <laughs> And we're about to show you that. Here's what's inside the plan for student loan forgiveness. The details. Specifically, this proposed legislation on student loan forgiveness will provide for the following, among other proposals. Existing student loan borrowers enrolled in an income-driven repayment plan would only have to pay their original student loan balance plus 10 years of student loan interest. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> 10 years of student loan interest in the student loan payment pause. So since I believe March 2020, we've been in the state of a, an emergency due to the sickness that's been going around. And so due to this extreme circumstance, Joe Biden was able to freeze student loan interest payments, right? I believe Donald Trump did it first, right? And so when Joe Biden got into office, he extended it. And people have not had to make any payments on their student loans this entire time, nor on the interest. Everything, interest has been at zero this entire time. And so, with this new bill, they want to end the student loan payment pause. They also want to end the public service loan forgiveness program for new student loan borrowers. Wow, so, if you are, they want to eliminate the option to where if you work in public service or a government job, that if you work that job for 10 years, your student loans would be forgiven. They want to end that program for new student loan borrowers. And existing student loan borrowers would pay the student loan balance plus 10 years of student loan interest. No, no wide scale student loan forgiveness. <laughs> no wide scale student loan forgiveness of any amount. So 
<laughs> if Joe Biden doesn't pass any student loan forgiveness and this bill pass, you ain't getting none. <laughs> you ain't getting none. And so this is very divisive because you have a lot of people that want student loan forgiveness. You have a lot of people that don't want it. Um, this bill was introduced by Republic Republicans. And so Democrats will use that to drum up fear um, around the midterms. Like, if you guys don't vote for us, if the Republicans get control of the House and the Senate, then there will be no wide-scale student loan forgiveness of any amount. And so people will start, re, 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 re. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's just going to stir up a bunch of drama, right? But at the same time, though, um, if Democrats really wanted student loan forgiveness, they would do it. You know, you would think they would do it by now. You have people like Elizabeth Warren, AOC, calling for Joe Biden to do more. Calling for Joe Biden to call, uh, cancel at least $50,000 in student loans, right? You have people like Chuck Schumer saying that Joe Biden has the power to cancel student loan debt with the stroke of a pen. He said that, right? So then people look to Joe Biden and, you know, his secretary, you know, Jen Psaki at the time said they were looking into it, but most of the times, if there was going to be wide-scale student loan forgiveness, it would have to come through Congress. So he's basically passing the buck back to Congress, right? And so my question is like, why haven't people like Elizabeth Warren, ALC, proposed a bill? Why haven't they proposed a bill for student loan forgiveness? If you really wanted student loan forgiveness, you would try to at least introduce a bill, you know, you want 50000 you could put 50000 on that bill, uh, introduce it to the House or the Senate or whatever. I thought at, um, at the time, Democrats had majority, majority House, majority Senate, and the presidency, you know? I mean, they are able to, like, ram through all these other bills when, when they want, you know? When, when, when it's time to, you know, give money to Ukraine, oh, they, that goes through no problem. But anytime it's time to do something to benefit the American people, oh, we have to fight and bicker and, oh, we got to kill that. We got to, we got to do a filibuster. It's, it's crazy, you know? Every time, like, these people didn't even want to give you $600 in stimulus checks. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, you know? My question is, if Democrats, Democrats have majority control, why didn't they, why haven't they passed a bill for student loan forgiveness? You know? Yeah, Republicans have their own agenda, but at the same time, Democrats had control. So they also want to create a new single income driven repayment plan similar to income based repayment to replace existing income driven repayment plans. So no student loan forgiveness. Everybody's going on a repayment plan. Eliminate student loan forgiveness through income driven repayment plans. Yeah, they want you to, you're going to pay that back <laughs> in grad plus student loans which would limit how much graduate student loan borrowers could borrow. Wow. So, you guys going for master's degrees, doctorate degrees, y'all gonna be SOL. <laughs> In capitalization of student loan interest, which is the addition of accrued student loan interest to your student loan balance. So, what does that mean? Does that mean there's gonna be no more interest? on student loans 
helped student loan borrowers in student loan default to rehabilitate their loans for a second time. And so you're going to, they'll, they'll help you get, you know, get back on track to make payments, but you ain't getting no forgiveness. And prevent the U.S. Department of Education from using the negotiated rulemaking process to issue regulations that are economically significant, such as more than $100 million, including wide-scale student loan forgiveness. So they want to shut that down. Republicans want to shut that down. But Biden could announce student loan forgiveness any day now. Biden is days away from one of the biggest decisions of his presidency, whether to cancel student loans for more than 40 million student loan borrowers. According to leaked documents on student loan cancellation from the U.S. Department of Education, Biden is considering $10,000 of student loan forgiveness for student loan borrowers. $10,000 would, it wouldn't cancel my student loans altogether, but it would drop it in half. I mean, it would significantly help me. But people say that that's not enough. There are people out here with 80, 90, 100, 150, $200,000 in student loan debt, man. And, you know, they got a degree in like art or some shit. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. And, you know, they work, they're working a, you know, minimum wage job. And it's like they'll be paying that off until they basically kick the bucket, you know? And I believe student loans pass on to like your kids, I believe. And if you get married, those student loans, like if your partner has student loans, her loans or your partner's loans become your loans. <laughs> That's crazy, you know? And so these student loans are a serious problem. They have been affecting my life like Many aspects of my life have been affected by student loans. Um, I was denied uh, rentals for apartments. I was denied um, uh, spending limit increases from my bank. Um, just denied for any type of credit, anything. And so the quality of my life has been severe, severely... Um, impacted and so but at the end of the day like I always say you know I'm not depending on the government to save me I still have plans to pay off those student loans the only problem that I have is if these people say that they're going to do it then do it you know don't string people along these people dangle a carrot in front of your face you know to try to garner votes. And I think that's sick, you know? These people, they're, they're voting, you know, their approval ratings are already in the toilet. And so they're trying to keep student loan forgiveness in their back pocket, you know, in case, you know, because they think they're going to get some votes out of it. It's messed up. Here's who could qualify for student loan forgiveness. Um... While Biden hasn't made a final decision, the potential announcement of whether Biden will enact student loan forgiveness could come days before the expiration of the student loan payment pause on August 31st, 2022. So yeah, the payment pause is supposed to end August 31st. So September 1st, interest payments are back on. However, however, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that they may be paused and extended again because Joe Biden just recently announced another health emergency due to all this recent monkey business. You know what I'm talking about? And so we could see um, student loans paused and extended for another year. We may see other things come back too, like lockdowns, but that's a whole another video. Now, since becoming president, Biden has canceled more than $25 billion of student loans. But here's the problem, though. A lot of those student loans that he canceled, those are from private schools. None of those affected anybody who went to a public 
school, like a state school or uh, UC, nobody from a public higher education institution got their student loans canceled. People who went to private school got theirs canceled. And I mean, that's cool for them, but it's not really like widespread. We need widespread across the board student loan cancellation, you know? And, you know, I'm still going to pay my student loans off. People get mad saying that, um, you know, it's very irresponsible for people to, you know, have their loans forgiven. Um, it could cause inflation, um, adding that to the debt. But it's like these people have money for everything else. These people have money for everything else except for you, the average American. That's what, you know, makes me so mad. Now, this includes $8 billion of student loan forgiveness for nearly 150,000 public servants. So if you're a government crony, you know, if you work for the feds and you work for the feds for 10 years, you qualify to get your student loan forgiveness. But, you know, everybody doesn't have a state job. <laughs> Biden is working to simplify student loans. He recently delayed a new plan for student loans right around the time of the incident that happened in Buffalo, which could rival the Republican proposal for income-driven student loan repayment. Biden also proposed to make the limited waiver for student loan forgiveness permanent, which would benefit student loan borrowers seeking public service loan forgiveness. In contrast, Republicans propose to eliminate public service loan forgiveness. Republicans want to limit Biden's ability to use the negotiated rulemaking process at the Education Department to implement significant policy changes. However, Biden wants to execute major changes to student loans, including a proposal to lower interest on student loans and major changes to student loan services. Man, student loans suck, man. You know, student loans are the only debt that you cannot discharge during bankruptcy. It's crazy, you know? Student loans, the next step. While this proposed legislation likely won't pass Congress, the proposal raises important questions about the future of student loans. Biden and Democrats in Congress want to expand access to higher education, provide more student loan forgiveness, and help student loan borrowers find simpler ways to pay off student loans. So, do you want, uh, are you going to cancel it? Or do you want people to pay them off? Because it sounds like double speak right there. We want, we want to give student loan forgiveness, but we want people to pay off these loans too. <laughs> you see? You see the BS? Now, in contrast, Republicans want to limit federal spending, prevent Biden from canceling more student loans, end high-cost programs for student loan forgiveness, and limit the president's ability to make significant changes Without congressional authority. Exactly. 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 I mean, these people, like, it's not just Biden, you know, Trump, Obama, all of them, you know, executive order this, executive order that, even our governors, Gavin Newsom, executive order this, executive order that, like, that, that shit is, should be unconstitutional, you know, like, major laws have to go through Congress, but I, why, if it has to go through Congress, why haven't Democrats introduced a, bi a bill or at least a proposal on student loan forgiveness, especially since they had majority House and Senate? I, I just don't understand it, you know, because let me just keep it like, to be real, like Republicans or Dem and Democrats, they don't care about you, you know, Republicans don't want student loan forgiveness but at the same time democrats had 
the ability to do it, but didn't do it. Or they're just dragging their feet on it to try to get votes. Um, where was I? Oh, right here. Con- without congressional authority. If Republicans win control of Congress and the presidency, which they probably will, hopefully, this proposal could offer a glimpse into the future of student loans. That said, student loan forgiveness isn't the only issue that is top of mind for student loan borrowers. The student loan payment will end within days. That means student loan borrowers should expect to restart student loan payments beginning on September 1st, 2022. Are you prepared? Here are some of the most popular ways to pay off student loans faster and save money. (laughs) Basically, you better get ready to start paying them loans back. I'm not saying that, um, you know, another freeze might happen. I mean, I'm not saying it will happen, but it might happen. But at the same time, if it doesn't happen, are you prepared to start making payments again? You know, them student loans are horrible, man. Like if you, if you, you know, your credit is everything, you know, I wish I took my credit serious, more serious when I was younger, man. You know, you have to make payments on time every month. If you miss payments, you know, and it shows up on your credit, like your credit score could drop dramatically. It's crazy, you know? It's crazy. (laughs) But student loan refinancing, lower interest rate plus lower payment. Income driven repayment, lower payment. They have a minimum payment of $5 a month. I mean, $5 a month, anybody can do that, you know, but at the same time, if you're only making $5 a month payments, you're not really gonna put a dent in your balance. And so that interest is going to continue to build up, you know, but I mean, even if you have to make the minimum payment, it will look good on your credit because those payments will show up, you know, It'll show up that you're making payments on that student loan every month on your credit report and your credit score goes up. So even if you have to make the minimum payment five hours at a time, that will help you. Just just don't just don't go into default. (laughs) That is that's bad. (laughs) Um, And then student loan forgiveness, federal student loans. That's what we want. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, that's the end of the article. Um, we are coming down to the wire when it comes to student loan forgiveness. Um, if Joe Biden is going to make a decision, he needs to make it quick. And even if these people do forgive student loans, don't let these people buy your vote. You know, that's all I'm gonna say. But let me know what you think. Do you think Joe Biden is actually going to forgive student loans? widespread student loans or do you think he's going to continue to string you along let me know what you think this is rpu and i'll see you in the next video peace